plaintiff, Alexis Jones, says she and the defendant were good friends for four years, and he celebrated her success after she made it to the top 50 in American Idol. Alexis claims they tried taking their relationship to the next level, but it was a huge mistake, and she's suing him today for travel expenses. Defendant Pepe Ndaye says things were good when he first started dating Alexis, but things went downhill after they took a trip to Las Vegas. Pepe insists Alexis is suing for more than he owes. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. We'll start with you. Me and Pape met at around 2015, so we've been like best friends for about four years. Pape has like literally been a great supporter. Like even last year, I was I made it to the top 50 on American Idol, and um, it was a big moment for me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? He was proud of me. I was proud. It was just a, a good thing going for my. I had mm -hmm. a good thing going on yeah. for myself. Uh, we just never found the time to actually say, hey, we're going to date. You know, if I was messing with somebody or dating somebody, he wasn't, and vice versa. If he was dating somebody, I wasn't available. So it wasn't until this summer where we was like, okay, look, we're going to go ahead and date. You know what I'm saying? And I was excited because I'm like, should we going to be like Wakanda forever? You know what I'm saying? But Pape, <laughs> Pape didn't have no vibranium. He didn't have no, he didn't have no sense. <laughs> you didn't have any for real? Uh, I had a lot of it. She just wasn't getting none. That's, That's right. That's right. That's right. He wasn't giving up his viranium uh, for you. Uh, uh, he was apparently giving it up to some girl. Apparently, he decided to take some girl on Wednesday talking about, hey, what you doing and all this stuff. Like, the thing about it, it wasn't the fact that he was texting her. Wednesday is a very spiritual day for me. You know, it's, it's, I mean, it's the day that I cleanse myself from all the negativity. So I'm like, you could have went to so you go to Bible study? Wednesday huh? night is Bible study. I'm repenting and all of that go on Wednesday. Go to Bible study so you can learn. Yes. Go ahead. So, <laughs> yes. So, um, like, towards the trip, we I actually had a, a Vegas trip planned because I was going to open my own cosmetic line. So I was going to Vegas, and I was meeting up with the chemist to actually create an all-natural cosmetic line. Good. I didn't want to go by myself, though. And so here it is, Pop A being supportive, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to go by yourself. And I was like, oh, okay. Me and my boo finna go to Vegas. We finna, it's finna be great. No. No. It what wasn't was wrong? great. Um, it was just weird. Like, it just, he just wasn't, the support apparently stopped when we got in Vegas. So I ended up going to the convention, meeting the scientists by myself. It was just really rocky. And what was he doing while he was there? He was kicking it, you know. Kicking it where? He's going kicking to the Kicking it clubs? in the hotel. What? Just chilling. Okay. Just chilling back, messing up the hotel room and stuff, being messy. Drink, eating up the uh, snack bar? I don't know what he did, because <laughs> I wasn't there. Let me hear from you, sir. You give me some background on your friendship. Uh, She's right. I knew her for about four years, and we've been good friends ever since. Like she said, I never really had the time because I'd be out of state or she'd be in a different state. So we just keep it cordial, you know? And then this summer, that's when we decided to take it up a notch and take it another level. And that's when uh, I asked her to be my girlfriend, and everything was smooth. And the trip from Vegas, it was her business trip. She's right. And uh, she asked me to go. I wasn't really sure at first. Cause I was, I had another trip planned already. To do what? I just, I just got back from Atlanta around that time, so I end up telling her, yeah, I'll go with you. You going to Atlanta to party? She's going to Vegas to get some money. <laughs> go ahead. I mean, You're I've been there doing at the strip my thing. club making it rain. <laughs> you, making it rain. And, and, and here I, you have a woman, an ambitious young lady, wants you to come out there with Vegas and help support her and her business, which you might be a part of at some point in the future. But instead, you want to be in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> so I ended up, um, I ended up agreeing to go with her to Vegas, you know. And up front, she bought my tickets because I told her I wasn't able to go. All right, we'll she, get to that shortly. Yeah. That's what she's suing you about. It yeah, appears. exactly. Uh, so tell me what happened that caused you to sue him. So, well, we were about to go to Vegas, and Pape said that he had the money to get his ticket. You know, Pape worked like 15,000 jobs. So I'm like, okay, cool. 
So when it got closer to the time for us to go, he was like, hey, could you get my ticket? I was like, you know what, Papa, y'all go ahead and get your ticket, because he said he was going to reimburse me when we got back on July 31st. And, well, actually, before we went to Vegas, we ended up missing our flight. So we missed... That was your fault, I promise you. Yes, you are. <laughs> no! Yes. It was both of our, our faults. How so? I left my ID, and he had to have somebody come and pick up his car from the airport. And I ended up having to buy him another plane ticket. We ended up getting to Vegas, and when it was time for us to leave Vegas, the, the flight times changed. So we had to... Um, Later? Yeah, it was mm -hmm. like later, mm -hmm. and we missed that flight. It was later. How could you miss a flight that no, was, it was delayed? Earlier. It was earlier. It was earlier. Yeah, no, they don't move flights up. Well, you're right. We missed it though. Go ahead. And um, I had to buy him another plane ticket, but at this point, I'm I, I don't want to buy him another plane ticket because the boy put weed in my uh suitcase. So I'm like, um. You gonna have to call your mama and tell her to get you so another. So you open up your suitcase and you had a bunch of weed. Yes. In there. I called my mom and she was like, "Hey, he came out there, go ahead and uh, purchase him another plane ticket." He said that he was going to reimburse me and he said that he was going to pay half of the room for even putting the weed in my bag. So we made it home and um, at this point, you know, Pape is steady trying to date me and all this stuff. And I'm like, dude, you need to get your money together so that you can pay me back because I couldn't even start my cosmetic line because the money that I used on you buying all these plane tickets I was supposed to use on the, to give to the chemist to start on my cosmetic line. And also, I was moving to Atlanta, like, within that, that around that time, time, same time span. I had to move and all of this, so it was a lot. So, Pape said that he was going to give me the money. He didn't. You tell me why you haven't paid for the tickets, sir. Because I just felt like it wasn't... Because at first, she texted me and told me I owe her 1800 which was half of everything. And if you doing a business trip, you, you book your room already and asking me to come with you, how am I supposed to give you half on the room that you already booked, you know? Cause we you leave him from St. Louis. That's your woman, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, but not no more though. But <laughs> She was then, but go ahead, sir. <laughs> But we went to, uh, when, when we got to the airport on our way over The her, first time, the on first the way time, there. Uh-huh. Uh, when she, after she paid $300 for my flight and heading to Vegas, she left her license at home. And we're going to Vegas. Ain't no point of you going to Vegas with no license. He what can't you going to do? Flight, no exactly. Go ahead. Yeah. So she had her parents come and get us uh, her license. We missed our uh, flight by that time. They was, you know, they came over there. So that's when she... Had she had her license, you would have been on time. Yes. Okay. No, right. your friends still wanted to pick your car up. My car didn't have nothing to do with it. Everything you, you was your... Because we was already in line, about to take a flight to Vegas. What was your car at that point? My car was in the garage. My keys okay. exactly. was left in the garage. It was already taken care of at okay. the end of the day. That's the first. How about yeah, the other the, missed air flights? Missed air flight, that was the second time. We was in Vegas. Well, she did not even know what time we was leaving. How did I know? Like, you wasn't on top of your stuff. You were responsible you didn't either? enough. You didn't either? Huh? Exactly. Did I didn't you know? That was her business trip. Like, you didn't need to get back to St. Louis? I did. I, I got to St. Louis. You paid for my ticket, didn't you? Yeah. Let me ask this. Your woman, she's busy trying to come up with some business opportunity. You're there, broke. <laughs> I have you money. You threw all your money up at the strip clubs in Atlanta. I didn't go no And you want to say you had nothing to do and you're talking about you wouldn't even look at your own itinerary to determine what time you were leaving. <laughs> Go ahead. So you're blaming her for the same thing you failed to do. Glad now, the, you admitted the first that. Time, the you failed time, to look yourself. Go ahead. The first time, that was her fault. But I it got was still that. fine. Let's talk about this time. It was still time. fine. The second time she missed her flight, like, everything was still fine. I told her, when we get back, I will just reimburse you for okay. the second flight. And plus the first flight, that's, like, equal to, like, $900. And okay. once we got back, we agreed that I will pay her, like, $1,000 because okay. that was a fair amount to pay. Like, yep. I was fine with all that. I never had a problem. I never said, no, I'm not paying That you. sounds about you know, right, man. Why would like, you want never, more than 1000 Why would he we pay more than 1000 We went down there. We had a good time. Because it was more was than $1,000. But he would know that if he, was, if he wasn't paying. How do we get near 2000 We got near 2000 because... So the first, the first set of plane tickets that I bought... The first 
plane ticket I bought for him was two ninety one. Correct. Got that. We, we missed that plane ticket. I had to buy him another plane He's ticket. He's not going to pay for that. You caused that miss. What's the okay. next one? So the next one was five ninety one. I didn't get a round trip, so I had to pay five ninety one for him to get there, and I had to pay five ninety one for him to. Uh, We're already there by no fault of his own. So getting there, he pays nothing other than the two ninety one that he had agreed to pay. And the return, uh, you paid how much total? The return, I paid $1,182. That's $600 and $600, or $591, $591. Yes. All right. And, and we had, what else? We had, uh, I had to pay for his luggage also. So um, the luggage, I believe, was $291. I'm seeing that right here. Let me see that. Uh, that was that was for both of us. <laughs> I know. Let me, let me look. Let me look. One second. I don't see I'm anything sorry, about Honor. luggage on here. You didn't have me anything. I see a hotel that you didn't mention. I have my. I actually have my my bank statements. Ma'am, I don't see anything about you suing for uh, for luggage. And I don't see luggage costs an extra $200. You should have anticipated that if you were taking that much luggage, that that's the extra fee. I'm sure he didn't take uh, that m much uh, luggage that ran up to the two, to, into the hundreds. I'm going to grant you uh, $1,000, ma'am. That sounds fair based on everything I've heard. Most of the uh, missed air flights, it sounds like you shared a responsibility or you were totally responsible for. My judgment is $1,013 to you, ma'am. Have a good day. Thank you. Each of us going to do what they're supposed to do and keep chasing our dream and whatever happens, happens. Yeah. I mean, I just piggyback off what he said. I, I guess it is it's hard, you know what I'm saying? When you when you have when you've known somebody that long, you know what I'm saying, you go feelings for them and everything and you thinking, hey, I love this person, this, that, and the third, and then some crazy stuff happened. But it's always crazy stuff happen when money is involved. And so, you know, if we move past it, we move past it. If we don't, hey, whatever. 